please you may be seated for a minute as we open our Bibles to Psalm 100 and verse 4. Psalm 100 and verse 4. I'd like us to read it together. Want to go. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. I welcome you to the noonday uh, midday worship for today. We'll be proceeding shortly to worship God, to praise Him, and to honor Him. But as a way of charge to our hearts, before we go into the time of worship, we just want to look at access by worship. Access by worship. That verse we read, virtually everybody here knows it by heart, and we recite it. But recently, I just came across an understanding that sometimes we just gloss over it. How many of you normally say, enter his gates with thanksgiving? Can I see? We normally say, enter his gates with thanksgiving. But if you look at the King James Version, it says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And then into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. We understand that entry into is beyond just entry. When you say enter into, it's an all-encompassing entry. You are encapsulated as you enter into his presence. You are enclosed by him. You are engulfed by him. And so when we say enter into his presence, we are talking about a complete inclusion and a complete immersion into God's presence in worship and going forward. So what must we do? What kind of attitude do we come into his presence with in order to have this all immersing, all encapsulating experience so that you feel God. You can almost touch him. You experience him. That's the atmosphere where you have goosebumps on you, where you feel, you just feel God, you just feel God, and then maybe the tears are rolling down your eyes uncontrollably, you didn't know when it started, it's just that presence and that aura and that atmosphere of God, how do we achieve that, whether here in the noonday worship, whether during a service, whether in your home or your house, number one is thanksgiving. Your thanksgiving is an expression of your gratitude and your appreciation. Number two is praise. An attitude of praise. The praise that we give to God is an attitude of our approval. It's all about Him. You are trying to let Him know that you are grateful to Him. You are appreciative of Him. You approve His his, his handling of your life when you are here to say God I have no complaint I don't know what I am expecting I haven't seen yet but that's not the important thing now I want to focus on the fact that you have brought me from where I was to where I am and I'm here to appreciate you and approve of you and let you know that I'm grateful and number three is thankfulness Thankfulness is still a little bit different from thanksgiving. Thankfulness is an attitude where you show your pleasure. You show your pleasure. You are happy with God and you show it. You see, when somebody gives you something, you say, oh, thank you. You are showing him or her that you are pleased with what has been given to you. So when you come to God with thankfulness you are expressing your pleasure and number four is bless his name now that seems a bit tautological we normally say god bless me and we say god bless you we normally say to bless god but when we say um bless his name again it is an expression of thankfulness of gratitude of appreciation so what's the summary today number one coming into his presence that all a massive presence via thanksgiving number two their praise, number three, their thankfulness, and number four, by blessing his name. Today, God is about to rise up on the behalf of somebody, and when you have come in like that, and you get into his presence, even what you didn't know you needed, he will give it to you. What is in your heart, your desires, your prayers, your, 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 your heart's longing, 
comes becomes answered prayers at the altar of his presence can we rise up on our feet this morning as we proceed this noon as we proceed in worshiping him